All right, so today we're going to go through the reproductive model. We'll begin by doing the male. I'm not going to go through all of the bladder stuff, which is a repeat from last week. So if you do want to see the bladder stuff, you can go see the videos from the previous week. There are some features we have on here that are exactly reproductive, but I'll cover them because they're on the list. The parietal peritoneum we had, of course, was the lining of the body cavity that we see here. The list also included rectum, and we can see rectum here, and anus, of course, which is the opening to the rectum. Now we're going to get more into the actual body cavity itself or the actual reproductive portion itself. We'll begin by looking at the penis. The penis ends at a structure called the glands, so we can see the glands of the penis. A prepuce is a foreskin. This particular model happens to be circumcised, but the prepuce would be the foreskin wrapping around the glands or head of the penis. Now, if we take the penis apart, we can now see some of the inside structures. One structure we can see is the corpora cavernosum, which is this part here, ridged with the cartilage. And we can see the corpora spongiosum, the dark red material that goes on either side of the urethra as we work our way along. This, of course, would be the spongy or penile urethra because it's traveling to the, through the penis and ending at the external urethral orifice. Now, if we slide over to the testes, we can see the scrotum or skin which surrounds the testes. We can see as this ball here. On the back of the testes, we have the epididymis, this sort of yellowy looking structure that we can see. This then comes up via the spermatic cord. The spermatic cord comes up, up, up. The spermatic cord includes the ductus deferens, which would be the tube carrying the actual sperm inside, and it includes the cremaster muscle, which runs up here as well. If we follow the ductus deferens up and around, we can see we have our infundibulum, where it bends, and finally, the ampulla, where it's slightly swollen towards the back of the ductus deferens as we work our way around the back of the bladder. We can see here is a prostate, and if I take the bladder piece apart here, we can see the prostate from another view. This, of course, would be the prosthetic urethra running through here, which we can see right there. We also have the membranous urethra going through the urogenital diaphragm, this bit of muscle that we can see right here. Here, we have a seminal vesicle, so this is a nice view of it when the model is intact. This large structure here shows us a nice large view of the seminal vesicle. We go back inside and we can see some of the muscles of the penis. If we go to the bottom, we can see the bulbospongiosis muscle, which is this muscle running right along here, ending at the bulb of the penis, which is the internal part of the penis. And we can see the ischiocavernosis muscle, which is this muscle off to the side of the bulbospongiosis muscle. Now there are a couple structures that show up just a little nicer on here. So if we switch to the other muscle, we can now see the bulbospongiosis gland, which or sorry, bulbarethral gland, my apologies, which we can see right here, this little sort of purplish dot that we can see. And we can see the pubic symphysis or pubis, I think it's shown on your list, shows up a little, little more nicely on this model. And largely, that covers the male reproductive structures.